Hi everyone, this is Saucy, the Traveling Tobo Chef. Just to let you know that uh, my intro to uh, doing the Hush Puppies somehow got corrupted. So this is going to be the intro. I'm going to make the Hush Puppies from scratch and I'm going to show you everything. But before you see that, I want you to see what we had here yesterday. So let's get continue on. Have a great day. Wow, this just came upon us. Look how big this one is. Look at the wind. If I go any further, I'm going to be all wet here. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's hailing. Let's see if I can catch some falling. Oh yeah, there it is. We got hail now. Oh, it's really coming down hard now. You see it bouncing out there? Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah, look at the size of this hail. Holy mackerel! It's really coming down now. If I get hit with one, I'm out of here. Wow, look at the size of this. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm getting from the stairs here. But look at it on the floor. Well, it looks like the hail stopped. It looks like it's going to be clearing up real quick, too. That was getting was real quick. Okay, we're going to be starting with cornmeal, all-purpose flour, buttermilk, one egg, one scallion, baking soda, baking powder, salt, whoops, I forgot the jalapenos, hold on, and there's the jalapenos. I'm going to have a cup and a half of the cornmeal, half a cup of uh, flour. So let me get out the bowl and the chopping board for the, the scallion and the peppers and we'll get started. Be right back. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with uh, chopping the, ball, uh, the jalapenos and the onion. Okay, here we go. You want them thin? Normally you get the, uh, uh, like, Two of these going, but this is a really large green onion. You don't need that much, but you want them thin. Don't worry, I won't cut my finger. I've done that many times. I don't know what to do. And just because I said that, you watch, I cut my finger right on camera. That would be a big blooper, wouldn't it? Okay. Put that in the bowl. Next. A lot of people shouldn't be touching these with their hands. I don't mind. I just don't touch my eyes. I take out quite a bit here. These guys love spicy. But you want to chop them up fine. Okay, that's should be good enough. Okay, 
Whoa, that was a close one. I gotta pay attention. Stop worrying about what's being shown on the video. I put seeds and all in it. There we go. That's all chopped up fine. Just like this. Put that in the bowl. Get this out of the way. Cornmeal's next. Yes, I know. I'm using a measuring cup. Wow. Saucy can't measure our cups. Not by side I can. Sometimes I can. With liquids I can, but for some reason, not any powder stuff. There's a cup. And a half. And a half cup of flour. what I'm doing. My, there's my teaspoons, my tablespoons, my quarter spoons, all of them. I can do this perfectly in my hand. Put about a tablespoon of bacon, baking soda. About a teaspoon of baking powder and about a half teaspoon of salt. Oops. All right. Get these covered up, moved out of the way. One egg. cup of buttermilk, and of course, wouldn't you know it, I forget to spoon, my wooden spoon to stir it all, so I'll be right back. Back! Alright. Just start stirring slowly or you're going to have a mess outside your bowl. Mix it in really good. Uh, well, what did, I, what did I say about stirring slowly? Look at this mess. Looper! Don't you like it that I don't cut out my bloopers? Stir it in really good. Now, most people, they start right away frying these hush puppies up. I don't. I let it sit for an hour. Give a chance for that baking soda, baking powder, and salt to work. Get it nice and airy and fluffy. So once I'm done stirring here, I will put plastic wrap on it, and in about an hour, hour and a half, you'll see the big difference in size. As this is the consistency of it now, okay? So we'll be back in about an hour and a half, well, a few minutes for you, two seconds for you. Uh, so let's try this again blooper. Let's quit with the, uh, get to the talking head here. We'll be back in about an hour, hour and a half, or I will be. Nice. And then uh, I'll show you the difference 
and show you how I deep fry them. Okay, so I'll be back in a few. Okay, after sitting here for about an hour, you can see that they've risen quite a bit. Let me show you how fluffy it's going to be when you stick the when you stick this in. Look, look at that. That's going to be really fluffy. And it'll be crispy on the outside. Let's test the first one. Alright, hold on. Okay, I always use two spoons. One to scoop up, and the other one to scrape it off into the oil. I do not make balls or anything. I just try to keep the fluffiest possible to be able to be crispy on the outside and nice in the inside. So, let's go with the first one. It's about this much. Just drop it in. In about five or six first batch. I got two baskets here, so I'm going for. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's cooking. I gotta get my tongs to be able to help flip them over. Hold on. I know, I never have my utensils, do I? Well, hey. I'm, whoops! Blooper! <laughs> I hit the wrong button that moved the camera. Alright. This is how I do it. All I do is just flip them. Oh, this one's going to be a, a test. And of course, we've got some little crunchies in there, too. I love those crunchies. Get them nice and crispy on the outside. It, it takes about two or three minutes, and then they're done. When, uh, when they're done, I'll pick one out and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here it is. Let's cut into it. Wow, look at this. See the onions and the peppers in it. So hold on a second. I'll switch it around. See, well, let's get it focused in. Come on now. Here we go again. No focus. It's going to focus. There it goes. All right. I'm going to switch it around so you can see me eat it and tell you how it is. Well, you know that little red button you're supposed to press? You know, it's supposed to record? Well, I forgot to do it at this time. Just want to let you know, it tasted great. It had that kick in it like it's supposed to with that jalapeno pepper in it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit like. If you're uh, new to it here, hit subscribe and also click on that uh, little bell so you can get notifications. And leave a comment below. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day and thank you again for watching.